did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above the basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. With some ice too, please. All is in place. The pokey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. I'm tired of these cuts. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, <laughs> but could never. Man, that's dumb. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been Make dormant for centuries. Like and you, it seems. <laughs> Are the key to understanding why we were me running around. Rather different than it did a moment ago. Yeah, around. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. Look, Mr. Burns. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. I don't think we can do that. would be no game if we did that. <laughs> uh, sir, they, they had the, the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the key. You didn't have the key, Mr. Burns. I have no patience for traitors. Uh -huh. What was that? <laughs> now, what was that? where were we? We I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Did he get, did he get homie that was in the frame?
understand what's going on right now. <sighs> now we got it. the whole game gonna be trying to fight that little that little three foot dude. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed you trying to totally out unaffected by my magic. You happen to be able to see traces of ancient Where are we? Adobe doors. <laughs> it can't be. Yeah. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Sorting ceremony. Mm. Oh. I'm no expert, oh. but that <laughs> seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? What's the sorting ceremony? Is this where they cut my hair? Mm -hmm. This is where they gonna make you choose, they choose your friend. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join Fig. us. Fig! The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Enough. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I thought the ceremony was over. <clears throat> well, we can't wait until I'll be in touch. Because they don't do the ceremony once a year. I can just hang out with Fig. I mean, we, we don't have to sort nothing. It's okay for everything to be like organized. Professor Weasley! Yeah, hey, Father, we have one more to be sorted. This takes place way past. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. I don't want to run behind people. I want. <laughs> mm. I detect something in you. 
a certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. You belong I can't go in Slytherin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned Certainly flying altogether. But don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic but, futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Like a hard top and all the movie. I, I said, like, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes like, begin you tomorrow. Like, look, me no shit. Fuck that, I ain't playing with you. Quite an entry. I ain't giving you shit. It's lovely to meet you. You're getting in trouble, you got detention. I'm Professor Weasley, Go on, would you shit. be so kind as to show our new student you know? to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Show me to the outside so I can go pick all As the I berries saying, and stuff. <laughs> I'm Professor Weasley. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Tomorrow? Right this way. No, I want to do it today. It's like night time. Hey, bud. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge. But one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Perspiration? Aspiration. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. What happened? A snake? No. Well done. Slytherin. This is now, the way you get into the doggone room. Go on in and get some room. sleep. You Say have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Ravenclaw. I shall be back in the morning Here's to collect you, you for your first class. Answer my riddle. Thank you, Professor Weasley. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first well, night you at Hogwarts. Well, you want to be a smart ass, so. Sleep well. <laughs> That's just like wrong. Am I dumb, boy? Perspiration? <laughs> no, it just wouldn't appear. It just wouldn't appear. I still wonder what you're gonna think of when you see peas for the first time. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Thank you! Can I go in people's stuff and take their coin and stuff? Classmate. How in the world do I get out of here? Follow the yellow entrance. Where are we? I can't. I can't evoke magic. Lumos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't know people. Are. You know your hidden spell. You know your light spell. Why are you using your light spell? I don't know. I suppose some introductions are in order. Can I help you? Did you see the way that it's Ah, you're the new fifth year. 
I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. These are supposed to be like, uh... It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. You, Se I'll let Ashton. you get back to your book. Nice meeting you, too. Good luck today. Let's go see what these other two guys say. When am I gonna be able to go out and pick berries? So I can make <laughs> some. <laughs> I don't even know how I make stuff yet. I wouldn't do that if I were you. In the globe. Ugh, not going to move there, are board? you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. You kind of lured nothing. Hey, we handled it. Slithers. And I think you're underestimating the nature Slithers. of the dragon. Oh, buddy. A broom would have been too <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. How far are you got, honey? I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Now you starting to get the, now you starting to get style Slytherin. <laughs> Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. So everybody Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Do you have classes with everybody? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. They're known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. They literally made it a habit Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Mermaid Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. You know? No, you see him in the globe, don't you? I can't help it. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. 
Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me yeah, and we shall put it to the test. Hmm? You trying to tell me I got like three or four this more way. hours of playing without... I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. What the hell? You sure I got an update already? The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and right, educate you yourself magic? about wizarding lore. Go ahead and get up to you. Yours is already up there. Do keep up. I didn't see nothing had to be up there. I am keeping up with you. Why don't you, you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Y'all know how to get in that. Huh? Y'all know how to get in that. What did you tell me to do? Here we go. Now we talking. Somebody Clever. Keep your eyes open for more I should let you play all like this. Land, no. Inside and outside of the <laughs> What you mean, no, honey? Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall.
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I can't believe that. that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor do? Fig. Don't tell me you told on me. Oh, yes, <laughs> you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. 
Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. <laughs> 